Hey, hey, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today I have another tutorial on how you could fix the Valorant high ping spikes on Philippines or when connecting to the C game server. So uh, if you're just new in this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification to get updated with the latest steps and tricks on this channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So in this video, I'll be showing you six possible solutions. Hopefully that would fix your problems. So let's get started by first going to your Valorant game um, launcher. So open up your Valorant launcher. So while you are on this launcher, you don't have to sign in first your account. Just simply hover your mouse on this particular icon right here and click on the update your account. It is possible that if you migrated your League of Legends right account, it might cause some misconfigurations. So just simply proceed with the instructions on the screen. Once you are able to see this um, option right here that says that no update is required, you're all set. Go ahead and try relaunching your um, game. And go ahead and see if the ping issue or high ping spikes on Philippines or C server. However, if that wouldn't still fix your problem, you can go ahead and go to another step by going to your taskbar. Look for your network icon. Right click your network or Wi-Fi icon and click on open network and internet settings. Click on the change adapter options. Right click your network adapter, click on properties and look for the internet protocol version 4, click on properties and check this use the following DNS server addresses and type in here the following. Hit the ok button once done and close all the windows. Go ahead and open up a command prompt and be sure to run it as administrator and type in here ipconfig space forward slash slash DNS. Hit the enter button and close this window. If that wouldn't still fix your problem, you can go ahead and log in your Riot account. Once you're already on the lobby, click on the settings icon right here. Click on the settings. Under the video tab, click on general tab. And you'll be able to see here the max FPS always. Might be set to around 120 or around 60 FPS. Go ahead and try lowering it down to around 40 or 50. Although this would also reduce the in-game FPS, however, some uh, users reported that reducing the max FPS on the game reduces the latency in the game. Go ahead and close the settings and uh, try if that would fix your problem. If that wouldn't still fix your problem, go ahead and open up a task manager on your computer. Go to your taskbar, right to your taskbar and click on task manager. And under the... Um, process tab you'll be able to see your valorant right click the valorant process and click on the go to details you'll be able to see here two valorant um, processes you simply right click the valorant win 64 shipping set the priority to high change the priority to high and also to valorant.exe change the priority to high go ahead and see if that will fix your problem as it will try to prioritize your game or the valorant process um network usage and also the cpu and memory usage on your computer over any other processes so go ahead and see if that would fix your problem if that wouldn't still fix your problem go ahead and go to your taskbar and open up task manager while the valorant game is still open on the background just simply right click the valorant process and click on the go to details just leave this process list uh, like that and go to your start menu and look for windows firewall. I click on the firewall and network protection. So go ahead and click on the allow an app through firewall. So go ahead and click on this change settings right here first. If this um, button is enabled on your end and click on the allow another app. I click on the browse button. Open up the task manager which we have um, opened a while ago and look for the Valorant processes again. Right click the Valorant process and click on the open file location copy this address right here and paste it on the address bar on the browse button on the firewall hit the enter button and you'll be able to see the executable or application of Valorant. go ahead and add that particular process if you see this current um, error Valorant is already in the list 
could just basically ignore this one and go ahead and look for that particular process on the list and be sure that it is enabled for both the private and public networks also hit the allow another app and then again locate the another valorant um, process on your task manager so you simply right click the valorant.exe and click on the open file location go back to the browse button on your firewall and then um, go back to the directory of the valorant.exe application and copy this address on the address bar and paste it again on the browse button so that you may be able to see it and now you'll be able to see the valorant.exe application just simply hit the open button and it will add a bootstrap package game hit the add button and again if you see this kind of error it's already on the list just simply hit the ok button and then look for the bootstrap package game and be sure that it is enabled right here and both the private and public um, firewall is checked right here hit the ok button and you can now go ahead and restart your um, valorant game and hopefully that will fix your problem but if still that doesn't fix your problem you could go ahead to the link on the description that i'll be posting this includes all the steps that i've just shown you here in uh, words and in instructions so that you may be able to follow them however um just simply uh scroll down for the sake of this particular step we'll we'll be changing the region of your riot account so at the last part of this article um uh, i'm showing you how you could change the riot account um region so you just click this change riot account region so it is possible that your riot account is connecting to another um, different region such as the europe or um, north america which causes the hyping on your game so go ahead and click on this um, login button right here it will now log in your account and uh, click on the check button right here generally this would be able to fix your problem automatically it will update your um, riot account to change the uh, region that your account is now currently configured to however if you are able to experience this kind of error right here unfortunately we cannot accurately determine your region of residence at this time please submit a ticket so an agent can assist you you simply scroll down right here and uh, create and submit a ticket so that a particular customer support staff will be able to check your account if in any case your account is set to a different region so that's basically it thanks for watching if this video was helpful don't forget to leave your comments and feedbacks down below and also like this video and uh, subscribe for more helpful tips till then see you again on my next videos